हाय एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग नमस्कार सत श्रीकाल सलाम वालेकुम आई होप यू ऑल वेल फाइन हेल्दी सेफ आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस सेशन वेर एंड विन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग गाइज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द वेटेज ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स इन ऑल ऑफ द थ्री सब्जेक्ट्स फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री एंड मैथमेटिक्स सो बेसिकली वी रिसर्च द लास्ट टेन ईयर्स डेटा एंड वी आर ब्रिंगिंग टू यू द टॉप टेन चैप्टर्स ऑफ ईच सब्जेक्ट एंड यू विल नॉट बिलीव you will not believe by looking at the data that top 10 chapters of each subject sometimes contribute to as high as 85% of j advance paper right so let us look at these important topics because these are the topics that you cannot afford to miss this is an important session not only for the ones who are appearing for 2023 but also the 2024 and 2025 aspirants and uh, they need to make sure that they do these topics which i am going to show you with data in a good way you need to solve the previous year questions of these topics you need to solve a lot of questions regarding these topics like i said some of these topics are contributing as high as 85% top 10 topics total of top 10 topics and percentage of 85 right so let us get started with this session uh, this is my telegram id for any kind of help related to mathematics or in general counseling you can always Uh, connect to me over Telegram. This is my Telegram ID. Abhi eight six five. All right. So now we are going to discuss the high weightage chapters and uh, let us start with mathematics. Right. So this is the last ten year data. Right from twenty twelve to twenty twenty two, and this you can see the weightage of these chapters in each exam. For example, matrix and determinant twenty twenty two was eleven percentage of mathematics paper. Eleven percentage points. That is huge. that is huge i discussed this in the in, in the lecture yesterday <clears throat> if you are able to score around 25 to 35% marks you could get a seat in iit 35 to 45% marks you could get a good seat decent seat in a good iit and 55 around 50% marks top iits top branches right so 11 percentage from that perspective is a huge right so any <clears throat> any chapter which is contributing more than 5% is a huge weightage guys by the way So if we talk about matrices and determinants throughout, uh, right from 2012 to 2022, the weightage has been very, very, very high. This is the first chapter that we do in class 12th, and this is having a such a high weightage: seven percent in class 12, three percent in class in, in 2020-13. In 16, it was 11 percent, 12 percent in 1921. It is 10 percent, and last year it was 11 percent. If we talk about trigonometry, again trigonometry as two has a very high. so these are the topics that we generally tend to ignore, right? Matrices is easy. Why do it? We'll put pressure on th- on on, on uh, things like complex numbers, permutation. But again, we tend to ignore these things. But this is what data tells us. Those who have strong trigonometry, those who have strong matrices and determinants, normally a lot of questions get involved combining these two topics, right? They are able to do really well. So trigonometry, it was 11% last year, guys. 11% last year, 10%. So normally it is always, you know, above it, barring 2017 and 2012, which was 3% in both the cases, right? Otherwise, trigonometry has been having a heavy, heavy, heavy weightage, followed by probability. And probability is again one topic that we do not pay much attention to because of the simple fact that this is generally the last topic that we discuss in class 12th. And by the end of class 12th, there's a huge pressure, you know, of uh, Uh, revising things because J mains one first attempt is on the cards in a few months from now. So this is one topic that we tend to ignore, followed by vectors in 3D also. So vectors, 3D probability, these are the three topics which is generally are done in the last, but these are very high, and that is the reason a lot of students are not able to do these topics in the very proper way, and they are not able to attempt these questions in J advance, but they again have super high weightage. Probability. 10%, 13%, 8% vectors in 3D is 7%, 7%. So vectors in 3D is combined basically here. Is 7%, 7%, 6%. Complex numbers 8%, 6%, 5% last three years, right? <coughs> If we talk about definite integration, so in integral calculus, definite integration is something which is having a very high weightage. 6% last year it was last two last year 15%. 15% question from from definite integration, <coughs> AOD permutation combination circles. and fundamentals of mathematics are general questions on mathematics uh, which are not typically from any lecture but apply logic 
right? So this has been, these are the top 10 lectures, top 10 chapters. Now, if you count the total number of chapters in mathematics, there are around 30. Around 30, including class 11th and class 12 topics. And I am giving you top 10. That is one third of those topics, one third of those topics, which ideally should contribute 33%. But these 10 topics are contributing as high as 65% marks in one paper. 82% marks. These 10 topics, 82% marks in 2021. 55, 78% marks in 2019, 74. So that means, that shows that these are very important topics and you cannot, cannot, cannot ignore these topics, guys. Right? So if you talk about class 12th topics, matrices and determinants, probability, uh, vectors and 3D, definite integration, AOD. So these are all class 12th topics. These are the topics that you need to put a lot of attention to. Particularly the topics which are covered at the end, which is probability, vector study. Because you tend to ignore these topics because the stay-by is about to complete it, get completed. And you're mostly, mostly focusing on, you know, first attempt of J mains, that is to revise the chapters of class 11th and class 12th, right? But again, these have very high weightage as you can see. So I'll just get aside if you want to take the screenshot. You can take the screenshot of these. Very important table. <coughs> yes. Before we get ahead, guys, before we get ahead, I would want each and every one of you to like the sessions before I show you the physics and chemistry weightage. Which one do you want to see first? Do you want to see physics now or chemistry now? Fada, everyone, on the chat. Do you want to see physics now or chemistry now? On the chat, everyone. All right, so let us get ahead and see physics. Now, these are, <coughs> these are the weightage of physics. Electrostats the most important chapter, the first chapter that we cover in class 12th, normally 13% in 22, 3% in 21, 20, 14% in 20, 19, it was 9%. Again, mostly it has been having a good weightage over the years. Optics is again one thing which we tend to generally ignore, which is not to be ignored. Very important, it's a whole unit, it's a complete unit, and this is something that you need to do in a very, very, very good manner. So modern physics is also something which is having a very high weightage and it is generally ignored by a lot of students. Modern physics, 13%, 11%. So again, this percentage has always been very high, always. So modern physics is something that you cannot, cannot, cannot ignore, guys. So this is something which is to be done. Current electricity, rotation, capacitance, KTG thermodynamics, SHM waves. So these are good chapters. These are very important chapters and some of these chapters at times have been contributing as high as 75% in 22. Top 10 chapters out of almost 30 chapters, 29 to 30 chapters in physics in class 11th and 12th, top 10 chapters have been contributing to as high as 75% of the total paper in physics. This shows the kind of importance we need to pay in these chapters. We need to solve a lot of questions. We need to start from the basics. We need to do previous year questions, particularly J advance of these topics, right? So this is very important. I hope this is clear. So in 2015, it was 79%, but most of the years, it has always been crossing 50%. 50% always been crossing. So 10 chapters contributing 50% of the marks. If we talk about chemistry, again, chemistry is normally evenly spread because there are three units, physical, organic, and chemistry. So these are the topics that you can always note. So this is aromatic compounds, uh, generally 9 to 10%. P block elements, 8, 7, 8, 5, 6%. Coordination compounds, right? So again, this is very random. Electrochemistry is 7 to 8%, you know, every year or almost. Metallurgy, 3, 3, 6, 6. Uh, uh, chemical equilibrium, this is uh, one important unit which I still remember, chemical and ionic equilibrium. 5%, 3%, 9%, chemical bonding is 3%. You know, so this is more or less evenly spread, right? But again, these 10 top, uh, topics are very important because lately, these 10 topics have been contributing more than 50%. Sometimes, of course, the contribution is as low as 30% also. But lately, these topics have started contributing in J-Advance. You can see the trends. So 58%, 51%, 52%, 38%, 64%. 64%. So, I hope this is clear and you can again take the screenshot of chemistry to, to tell you that how important these chapters are, right? So all you need to do is you need to write down these chapters. This is for 24 and 25 especially because 23, there's hardly any time. But again, what you can do is 
if there is something which is missing in these chapters, if you think that some of these chapters you need to put in <coughs> some effort, so these are again very crucial 15 days, 14 days for you. And again, you can note down these chapters because all of these, all of these chapters are really important and they've been contributing a lot in J paper lately, right? So <coughs> these 15 days, if any of these topics is particularly weak, you can focus on these. How you can focus? You can take out the notes, uh, do uh, a lot of questions, basically the question that you have discussed for these uh, the particular chapters and also very important, the third point is previous year questions of J advanced because that is going to give you a contribution. Uh, uh, give you a fair bit of idea that how do you stand in these topics uh, all right guys so this was uh, uh, all about it and i wanted to keep it short i hope this information is uh, you know uh, good for you and if you found this information good do like the session do spread it amongst your friends